This segment of our show today brought to you by the committee to reelect Craig Blair to the state Senate, also by Hagerstown Ford. If you hear that music, it is reserved for one guest and one guest only, and that is the Berkeley County Clerk, Tony Petrucci. Tony, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Wait a morning. second, I should turn your microphone up. There you go. Good morning. Thanks for having me here again. Do you get chills when you hear that music still? Yeah, I think it's fall. Feels like fall. But I'll tell you one thing, Tony. <laughs> they have got to go back to playing on grass. You can't have Notre Dame playing on turf. It's, that's oh, got to be both. grass. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I was there in uh, 2014 was, I think, the last time there was grass there. Yeah. And then they changed over to the turf. But that doesn't seem the same. Not the same. No. you got to have grass. Got to have Football grass. is meant to be played on grass. I believe it is. <laughs> Why not? Is that a financial decision to change over to turf instead of grass? Just less expensive? I don't think at that level the money matters. I well, think that the coach wanted a better – the coach at the time, Kelly, yeah, wanted yeah. a better surface to play on. Yeah. Uh, consistent. It, 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 South Bend's terrible in the winter, you know, with the, with the wind and rain. Yeah. It, Isn't it harder on the players? It's not as good on the legs as grass would be. What they say. Okay. Yeah. When they, the NFL Players Association does surveys and they ask about playing services, it's – pretty strong percentage of them do not want to play on turf mm-hmm. no matter how much better the turf today is than it was 40 years ago it's still not as good as grass yeah. on the legs i tend to agree tony yes sir i have a couple questions for you from uh folks i'll, I'll hold on those for a moment while sure. i ask you about early voting mm-hmm. because the primary is may 14th yes and i know we do early voting in berkeley county and i understand locations have been added Yes, uh, early voting is going to start May 1st through the 10th. Um, in previous years, we've, we've only had the one early voting facility at the Dunn Building uh, down in the uh, voter registration facility. Now, of course, the voter registration office has moved over to the other side of the, the uh, area in, on the first floor. Uh, but we're able to um, have the early voting it looks like uh, in the area we're going to be at, when I say we, the courthouse people over on the other side for, for more protection. It's in a, it'll be in a room. Mm-hmm. We can have about eight uh, machines there instead of having it in the hallway for that. So so that's that's always been uh, the early voting has always been at the Dunn Building here in the last, I guess, four or five years. Um, now we have two more, one at the Beddington Ruritan Club on Round 11 North. Um, and, and the time will be 9 to 5 for these early voting facilities. And then the third one is at Route 11 South at the uh, small Pike side um, at South Berkeley substation. It's a small substation okay. uh, fire company that uh, we've uh, knocked that down with the, with the help of uh, uh, the South Berkeley Fire Company, very helpful with that. Uh, and I also want to say the county commission has been very helpful with uh, moving this process along. And anything I needed, uh, whether it be the commission or the county administrator, uh, it's it's worked out real well. So that's where we're at with those three early voting places. Were there other locations that had uh, hope, you hope to consider, or were they these really the only other ones? At this, at this time, those two were the only ones that we've uh, we had talked about uh, since I was elected and. Uh, June uh, or uh, January of 2023. Yes, sir. Very good. Now, I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. All right. Can you ask Tony the dates for the class in April and when letters will be sent for said classes? Yes. The, for, the, I, this the, is for poll workers? For, for, for poll workers, yeah. yeah. Uh, they'll be coming out in the next few weeks. Uh, we need about 450. Um, we're running pretty good shape on that. Close. So uh, it, those letters will be coming out soon. And if they ha- have any questions about that, uh, 304-264-1989. 1989. Yes, sir. I'm would write be, that if, down. If they really uh, – and it, it will, I think we'll have four classes for the poll workers. I think that was another uh, question they asked. Uh, and, it, and we're going to have that at the, at the old courthouse. And I say old courthouse because it's going to be an old courthouse eventually once we move. Um Upstairs in the uh, on the second floor, at the um, uh, courtroom, we'll have four about four sessions for that uh, spread out for poll workers, and uh, we feel it's a bigger area compared to where the uh, I think the last time they used the uh, 
county commission room. So, we'll what see. are the requirements and the pay for that position? Yeah, to be well, you have to be eighteen, of course, be a registered voter. Uh, the pay um, three hundred dollars a day for that, and that's set by the commission. Right. Um, if you're a rover, which means if you know a, ro- a person will go around to the precincts and see what what the uh, people might need, uh, they get three fifty plus mileage. And then, what would be expected for someone who is thinking about applying F- to be a poll worker? Well, yes, yeah, as far as what kind of day is it going to look like on May the fourteenth? How, how many how many hours are they going to commit? Oh well, uh, about twenty four. <laughs> uh, they come to five thirty in the morning. In the morning, usually, right? And then until about seven thirty at night is when the poll's over. But you know, there's going to be some lag time after that, getting things gathered up, things like that. Okay. So, so and do they have to be a registered voter? Yes. Mm-hmm. They do. And that includes independents as well. Yes. You can work, mm-hmm. be a poll worker as independent. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You have to have a. A Democrat, or you know, some Republicans, and uh, independent if they want to be there for a poll worker. You just can't have all, you know, one party. Right, or or be unregistered. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Are any of the polls open on the weekends? Uh, polls, early voting, uh, from May first to the tenth, they will be. Okay. On Saturdays. But now, nine, for, to, nine to five. With the early voting, are they tabulated real time and then just kept quiet, or no. is it? No, they're tabulated the day of the election. So how does that work? I go to a, the polling place, to the booth, and I, I cast yeah. my vote. Yeah. So is my vote kept in that machine? It's, or? it's taken out at, at the end of the day when you uh, and stored. In what form? As a disk? As a... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, as a computer disk. Yeah, it's all computer. We, we have people to come in and actually check all the machines. Right mm-hmm. now they're in a controlled atmosphere out of the facility. Uh, we have to have that, and uh, the maintenance department in Berkeley County did a great job with that. Um, and the IT department actually moves all the machines for us to the precincts, which we have uh, 80 precincts, we, and we have about 54 polling places. So um, the IT department will, the day before, load up, work with the schools, and place them after schools are out. And then um, have a secure place at the uh, end of uh, of the day to put the machines um, if they don't pick them up because they're they're not going to be be able to be picked up uh, that that same night. Okay, so just random making this up on Mm -hmm. May second, right? Mm -hmm. At the end, seven thirty, polls close. May second, the no, that's that's early voting now. Right, early voting. So the the. Recording device. I say disc. It's probably whatever. A chip, whatever the hell it yeah. is. <laughs> it's the, the the thing that records it's, the yeah, vote. Does that remain in the machine and it will be the same recording device on May third yeah. that oh, yeah. fires up again? Yeah. Okay. Tony, I got a text from one of the poll workers who said they were told eight to five. Is that just a matter of them getting there early that day, or is it actually eight, eight to, to five, five versus nine on to five? May fourteenth? Yeah. No, the poll the polls they need to be there five thirty in the morning. Tour, There's a tour, there might be a difference. Between oh, what about the voting? early voting? Yeah. Early voting early voting is nine to five. Early voting nine to five. Oh uh, yes, oh, May, May first through the tenth. Uh, maybe that's what the question was. Maybe that to. was yeah okay. nine, nine to five for that. Now, John, I can add a little context to that. So we, when the thumb drive is taken out and like they're, they're, it's counted on on May the fourteenth, yes. they'll take it to the clerk the courthouse mm-hmm. and they'll insert the thumb drive in the computer and it tabulates it. And then there'll be a random. I, I forget how many precincts, but there, they, there will. Be, there's paper copies retained of the votes. That's right. And then there will be a, a random drawing to audit certain precincts to see if the, to verify the results. As yeah, well. that's a that'll be the following week on a canvas. The canvassing, uh, the, the county commission gets involved with that, along with the uh, supervisor of the uh, and myself of the uh, voter registration. So all told in. Berkeley County, mm-hmm. how many people are involved, the staff people, whether temporary or full-time, mm-hmm. how many staff people are involved in just tabulating, managing the vote? Well, down in the voter registration building, we have uh, one, two, three, full-time, one, two, three, uh, probably about 10 people there. There's going to be some more contract, we call them contract people come in that we pay uh, to help out. Uh so you have that, and you have the poll workers, which are 450 plus. You have some rovers, 
Um, you know, every bit of five, six hundred people that's going to be involved. And that's for primary day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so for general in uh, November? It's, it's going to be probably about the same. We, you know, that doesn't change much. The poll, okay. the poll workers won't change uh, much. Uh, we always like to have some uh, extra on the side in case you know, somebody gets sick or can't do it. So um, I, I have a question. Yeah, um, sure. Just to be clear, is it, this is the first year that the two additional yes. locations. It, is there any reasonable expectations of how many people that will serve? At, at the uh, locations? Yes, yes. I mean, is it kind of we're just going to open it? Come in? Yes, vote? yes. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, most of my counterparts think that a lot of people will still come to the uh, Dunn building to vote because, of, you know, we try to get it out as much as we can. I've right. been on the radio a couple times. Uh, we have a Facebook page, uh, Berkeley County Clerks dash West Virginia, that we've been putting it on all the time. I, I know the county commission does uh, uh, some some website work for us. Um, you know, that's a, it's a shot in the dark. I'm going to say 20% maybe, more. I mean, 20% of those people that normally would go to downtown. Well, you know, if you live in Pikeside and you want to early vote, why come in town? Sure. If you live in Beddington. And then even if you live in Bennington and you're in Pikeside, you can still vote there. It's not a provisional ballot. It shows up, you know, in the computer as, you know, where you were supposed to vote. I mean, it's not going to be a provisional. You can vote at any of the yeah, three. Yeah, you locations. can vote at any of those three. For uh, early for, voting. For early voting. For early yeah, voting. For early, yeah. voting. Yeah. early voting. Early voting. Now, if you go to the wrong precinct on election day, yeah, your vote's thrown out. Well, it's the provisional. They, they can but vote. But they can vote, but it's not counted. That's, yeah. If, that's right. So they so didn't really vote. We don't, want, we don't want to have too many of those. Yes. Tony, question from David Anderson. Not when David. will city voters be getting their new precinct cards? Good question, Dave. We've just got that um, wrapped up early this week. Uh, printing should be finished, if not finished, so very soon. Very soon. Hopefully next week. Uh, there, there were some issues there uh, that we had to maneuver around in the city. Um, some of the precincts changed, and some of the places that people voted maybe in 2022 changed. So we, we, we had to get that out to them. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so not so much in the county. In the county, your precinct might have changed, but your voting place might have stayed the same, if that makes any sense. Let, let me just throw out. Because I've heard this has gotten under my, I've heard this before. It, like on election day, if you don't go to your right precinct, and people have insisted, "Well, I'm going to mm-hmm. vote anyway," and they'll mm-hmm. take it as a provisional. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I, for example, I live in the 97th delegate district. If I go over to Harper's Ferry or Middleway and to a precinct, then I'm in a completely different delegate mm-hmm. district. So I'm trying to cast a ballot for someone that's that's not my representative. So that, that's going to be thrown out. It's really important to get your yeah, precinct it, correct. It, it, it is, and, and uh, you know, if they have questions, they should always call first, you know, in, in, at the office. They can tell you right then if you don't. You know. I think you're going to be – I think this is a – Berkeley County is going to be very happy that they've – and I think the voters and the citizens are going to be very happy that these additional – I hope so. Precincts or, so. or the early voting locations have expanded. Yeah. Yeah, People we, have complained about that for a little while, so I'm sure they'll be quite happy. Well, yeah, they have, uh, weather, especially in November, you know, with the weather. Uh, we don't want people, especially the senior citizens or anybody outside if it's raining, you know, if there's a line halfway down the street, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. And we hope we get more than 29,000 people that voted in 2022. Was that the primary total? No, that was November. Oh. How many registered voters do we have? Yeah, we got about 80 couple thousand. And only 29,000 voted? Yeah. Well, it was a midterm it's election, a mid-term, which people sit out. Mid- midterm. So we're hoping we can get back. I think in 2020 we had that 80%. And it might have been a little bit more than that that voted. So we're, we're, was that a midterm? No, that was in November. General, uh, yeah, uh, in twenty twenty. And in twenty twenty, I think you could also do remote voting if mm-hmm. I if I remember yes. because of yes. COVID. Yes, yes, which helped. Yes, which helped jack out. that number yeah. up. So absentee ballots going out this week. Uh, people that came in earlier and and filed for the absentee uh, overseas is important. We got to get that over to them. Um, so. Um, we're on top of that. The, the, the staff has been working real hard to meet the deadlines of the state. The state Secretary of State's office done a great job with any questions that they have. And also, 
you know, I have other um, divisions within the county clerk with uh, downtown, which is basically a record-keeping facility, and our finance department. And, you know, I've, I've had several people from those divisions volunteer to help if, if, if the voter registration um, uh, office was short on some people, staff that day. And it's worked out real well. I mean, you know, I didn't have to... So this will be your first election, first election that you're running as the clerk, mm-hmm. right? So in the in the most recent election, there were issues between the Secretary of State's office and the Berkeley County Clerk's office in terms of getting some things right. And well, has that all been ironed out? I, I, I don't see that. I, I don't think it was between the Secretary of State's office and the uh, um, our office. I think it was the clerk. The clerk. previous clerk. The I don't think clerk. I, I cannot sense any issues with the Secretary of State's office whatsoever since I've been there that they haven't helped us solve a problem or answer a question at all. So I can't imagine that it was on them. Are you confident that this will go smoothly? I'm confident that this will go much better than it did in 2022. Will there be some issues? Absolutely. Now, one thing that we've done, and, 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 it's, and it's a blessing through the county administrator and the IT department, we're going to have people out in the fields, IT. For instance, if you're an IT guy, they have like 23 people. Uh, we're going to put uh, Rob Mario at Hedgesville High School, and he's going to be responsible for Hedgesville, Hedgesville Middle, maybe Tomahawk, maybe James Rumsey Vocational Center, maybe another one. And if there's an issue... We're talking five minutes, ten minutes to get there. We're going to have a person up at the South Berkeley area, IT person, that if there's a problem. We have a person down in the Beddington area that's responsible for so many schools or voting places. And, la- and, and before, they were always located downtown. So if, you, if it was an IT problem, you know, sometimes it takes half hour to get a tomahawk from Martinsburg. Mm-hmm. So um, the county administrator and the IT department has worked, uh, has said no problem. So that makes me feel a lot better because, you know, when the, uh, our staff is not trained to work on machines. Now, if it's something not plugged in, you know, shame on us. But, you know, to me that's going to be a plus because there are going to be some issues with machines. Whose idea was it to send the IT people out into the field? Well, I hate to say that. I hate to take the credit for it, but it was mine. And what brought about that thought? Common sense? Uh, yeah. Because it does make <laughs> well, sense. It's an Italian thing. Right here, bro. Yeah, that's right. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, uh, Tony, in regards to your experience working with the West Virginia Secretary of State, Mac Warner, mm-hmm. what has that been like? Well, I, I haven't talked to him much uh, since since uh, 2023. Mm-hmm. Um, if there's been any issues, it's always been... Uh, the people down at the train station, there's a train, they have an office down there, as you know. And eventually they'll be coming to the dumb building, that, that office. Um, it's all handled through them. I mean, you know, it, 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 it would have to be a really major, major problem for me to call Mr. Warner up and say, hey, you know, what the hell's going on? Yeah, well, I meant even the staff, yeah. you know, obviously. The staff's been good. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I, I haven't had a whole lot of interaction. My, you know, I tell my people mm-hmm. down to voter registration. If you've got a problem, don't sit there with your thumbs. Call them, and they have, an and, they, and they've worked with them. I haven't had, I haven't had, or heard any problems from the, our staff that the Secretary of State's office in general has not responded. Do you know the breakdown of Berkeley County's registered voters in terms of Democrats, Republicans, Independents, uh, roughly? Well, it's almost uh, close. They're close. I mean, we're talking. You know, out of 80-some thousand registered, um, of course, the Republicans has got the edge. Um, it's probably 20-some thousand, uh, same way with Democrats. Independence has come up. I can give you just a small breakdown if you wanted to know. But back in 2022, the general elections, mm-hmm. now, like I say, it was only almost 30,000 people that voted. But there were 15,029 Republicans that voted. Democrats, 6,700. Non-affiliation, 7,100. Independents, 347. Libertarian, 282. And the Mountain, 41. And some other other parties, whatever they might be, was 73. So, um, 
But the in, independence has slow, uh, last four or five years, as, as you probably know, slowly crept up, yeah. and it's it's almost even with that. But I, I do. And those aren't members of the independent party, but independent voters that, not affiliated that, with the two major that, parties. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. All right. So that, that's where we're at with that. And um, we have a, a um, lady from the Women's League of Voters that go to the schools. And she's done that uh, to the civics class and can get some of these seniors involved in voting. Mm -hmm. And if they want to work the polls, as long as you're 18. Um, Make 300 bucks. Done that. So um, we're moving along. We have a schedule. They, the, the Secretary of State gives us a calendar. We follow the calendar. And I'm sure they'll give us one for November. And we try to meet those uh, deadlines. What's the last day to register to vote? April 23rd. That's not far away. Not, not far off. So you can come in and, you know, get and, and do it. And what I tried, <clears throat> well, I don't know if we'll do it again. We might. Uh, for the month of February, of course, it's gone. But every Saturday we had the office open for people to come in and register uh, to vote if they wanted. Uh, it wasn't that successful. But uh, maybe I need to look at it, uh, moving it up another, maybe in March of next year or the next election mm -hmm. instead of February. But I wanted people that worked during the week that couldn't get there at 5 o'clock because the office closes at 5 um, to do that. So Maybe they just weren't aware you were open on Saturday. Well, could have been. We tried to get it out there as much as possible. You know, when anything new, it takes a while, it seems like, in Berkeley County. Mm -hmm. Final questions for Tony. On election day, official election day, which is the 16th? It's 14th. 14th. May 14th. On May 14th, polls close at 7.30. Mm -hmm. Is there a statutory deadline to report the results? Statutory? Yeah, I don't know if there's a statutory result, but we try to get it done as soon as possible. I've never heard anything okay. so through, there's no... through, through them. I mean, you know, we, we, I'm... Well, we'll have it. There's no art, there's no artificial pressure to not get a result I, by Not a that I time. know of, uh, okay. but it will be all done. Well, yeah, nobody wants to delay the process, you're, you're, obviously. You're, well, they have to canvas the next week. So. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. What does that mean? Certify the election. Certify. Right? Ensure that it's yeah. done correctly and then certify. Yeah. Okay. No problems. Blah blah blah. Um, usually, with if the polls close at seven thirty, usually, you know, Rob knows about nine o'clock. You start getting some results normally. Mm-hmm. From because they have to drive them in from the different precincts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you the, always get the you always get like the Martinsburg or you, you, wherever the courthouse is. You start getting those yeah. results. Yeah. Whatever's closer, closer starts mm -hmm. coming in man. first, and then it yeah. radiates out. We, it's, it's fun to watch. Tony, will you be posting your own totals, or will all, all that go through the Secretary of State's website? Uh, no, we'll do that there. We have uh, a, an air, a room in our office. I mean, in the, terms of the, for the public to see. Yeah, mm -hmm. the public. Or, yeah. you'll be able to yeah. post on you your can, own you, on your own website. Yeah, you can pull that up. Mm -hmm. right, very good. Hey, yeah. and remember, this is this is where you can elect your school board and your judicial yep. candidates. We do, we do have, yeah, we have, we do have um, also um, on the ballot uh, school board levy. Yeah, and also the uh, increase or de uh, whoever the people vote on the uh, fire with non-residential fire service. And That's, that will that be your only time to vote on those issues yeah. and candidates. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. Not, not not in November. All right, let's, so, so let's bring you back before uh, early voting starts, May first. Absolutely, good for you. Just call me. All right, Tony. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Any any final pieces of information you need to make sure people get? I don't think so. Um, I've tried to give you as much as possible as I can. No, so I think we're good. Excellent. Uh, so deadline to register April twenty three. Mm -hmm. Early voting starts May one. Tony, thank, thank you. And go vote thank for you. the Gipper. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Thank you for having me, <laughs> Tony Petrucci, Berkeley County Clerk. This segment of the show brought to you by Orsini's Home Store, not just an appliance store any longer. Also, the Berkeley County Health Department's quick response team, Hagerstown Ford, and the committee to re-elect Craig Blair to the state senate. This is Talk Radio, WRNR Martinsburg.